Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's your pal Oz here today and we are reviewing something brand new, something I've never seen before. They haven't even reached the shops yet but they probably will like any day now. And these are brand new micro wheels which are kind of like micro machines if you've seen them before. But they got little motors and they come with little sets like sorry uh, little tracks and uh, the collectible as well so there's tons of different ones but uh, instead of me just talking about it I'll open this up and we can see them and go through it together but uh, I was lucky enough the people at Head Start Toys they sent me this promotional pack so it's got over 30 cars to collect I think there's a box of 30 in here but Usually I, I, I don't open the box on film, but I will this time because the box is so cool. And Head Start Toys, if you haven't heard of them before, they're the same people who create uh, Ready to Robot and also Ushis. So let's, uh, there we go, let's get opening. Now there's a little flap here, lift it up like a garage door, which is awesome. And you can see a little bit what's inside. Now we got uh, two... Let's do it this way. We got two, uh, what are they? Micro wheel stunt packs. So the orange one there, then the purple one there. We'll just slide those to the side. And the last thing we have is a big uh, set of this. Get rid of the amazing looking box. <laughs> Here we go. A big set of the kind of like blind bags. Like you open them up. Each one is a, like a separate little garage. What you can use on your track. But each one has a separate little misty, mystery vehicle inside. Um, now on the back of here. This will give you an idea what the vehicles look like. So there's 30 to collect. I'm assuming this is 30 here. This is like 40 actually. Oh stunt packs must have special ones maybe. I don't know. Because that's like. That's what. Eight. 16, oh no there's 30, there's 30 there, so okay, so here's all of them you can collect. Now uh, there's some metallic ones, I see just common ones, just like Ushis and everything else is like common and then rare ones and limited edition ones. Um, I don't see limited edition but I do see rare glow in the dark kind of cars and also what's that, translucent vehicles. Looks cool, so I'm looking forward to collecting all of these and for each time we um, open some up we can maybe race them together to find which one's the fastest. I don't know, because these stunt packs, as well as every set, I believe come with a little bit of track, but we'll find out soon. So, uh, what first? We will open up a stunt pack. So we'll move that back, move that over there, and we'll start with this purple one. And uh, I don't know how much I'm gonna open up in this video. I'm just gonna kinda let time dictate how much we do here. So I'll just keep going until I see that time's kinda getting on a bit, and then we'll stop. Uh, and I can't find a knife anywhere. I'll just use my my hands. Okay, oh, 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 I see it over there. There we go. I'm no brute. I don't need to be tearing things up. Oh, I've, I've made a mess. <laughs> I don't need to be tearing boxes. It's kind of nice to be able to keep them in good condition. So let's just get this one open. And I say that because uh, quite often if you get the toy and there's something not quite right with it, you want to be able to return it. So there's a bit of a trick to opening lots of toys, which I've kind of worked out in practice, so that uh, it keeps the box looking good uh, for those times when you do need to return the toys. Now, just one last cut there, okay. Of course every box is different, but this one seems pretty straightforward. There we go. Now, let's get it out. Okay. So what we got here, so we got a little garage, which looks like it has a vehicle inside. And then a uh, track. That's two lots of track. And then a uh, kind of, what do you call it, half pipe maybe? <laughs> Not so good with track names, but we'll, we'll work that out. Oh, loop-de-loop, -loop, I don't know. Uh, get the garage out. And then finally, this little car. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how these work because they're kind of motorized. So first up, let's see who we found. So this orange one, I'm thinking neon. See it there, neon, neon, yep, that matches. Let's take a closer look. Looking nice, so he's obviously a translucent one. The wheels spin. And the way to kind of charge these up, I'm guessing, we'll just do a little test run here. Pull back, yeah, okay, I don't have to lose it. Just pull it back, ah, whoa, 
There's a lot of power in these things. Okay, I only like pulled it back like that far and it went really crazy. So we'll have to be careful not to lose these. Okay, and now inside here, now this I assume is gonna be just like one of these, where it's just a little garage. And let's open it up and there's a vehicle inside. Look at that. Okay, now let's, oh, there we are. It's not even sealed. That's cool, it looks like a bit of an ambulance, another translucent vehicle. Let's quickly grab it. Uh, I would call that Clearway. So Clearway, and yep, definitely Clearway. Now let's test this one as well, <laughs> just a tiny bit, but far out, that went far, okay. I, I can imagine too, and, and we can test this, like maybe, maybe not on my very first car, but we can test how robust these things are eventually, where we'll pull them back and we'll see if, because some of these, like, back, especially back when I was younger and had cars like that, you would break them if you kind of wound them back too much. Uh, so I want to test to make sure that doesn't happen to these ones as well. Now the track, they look pretty easy to put together. So let's do it, so these just clip like that. Now we'll do a, put a loop in there. And there's nothing forcing me to put it together in this kind of configuration. Except that, uh, I don't know, <laughs> it seems pretty good so far. And did I get that right? Yeah, it's pretty easy. I was um, expecting it to be kind of harder. But there we go, so that's sitting down there quite nicely. And we'll put the garage in. Now there we have it. Okay, now let's move the camera so we can do a little test run. Okay, how's that looking better now? Oh, I'm pretty excited about these. It's cool to get something new. Now we'll open up the garage door. And uh, next, later up, after we open the other one, because I'll open both of these today, um, you can, we'll do a race together to see which one's fastest. But first up, we'll check out Clearway. Now we'll just, just wind them back a little bit. We'll see how much power this gives them. Three, two, one. Oh, not enough power. Okay, we'll wind them back more. Okay, pretty good. If, if they feel really sturdy, you're like well constructed. Aha, look at that. Okay, that was awesome. Okay, let's get them back out. And uh, I saw on the, I think it was like the Facebook thing, that you can use this like a little launcher too, where you push it down and it shoots your car out. So that's cool too. And also, if you guys want any more information about these, I'll put some links down below to the uh, Head Start Instagram page. Also, there's a Facebook page which has lots of information about these, including where to get them from the stores as well. Because uh, as far as I know, this week they've been sent out internationally, but uh, in Australia I've got the list of stores. I don't know about overseas, but I've got the list of Australian stores. So uh, check down in the comments below and I'll put some links down there. But uh, okay, we gotta be fast. I keep on uh, rambling. So let's quickly open up the second one. I'll just make a little bit of space. Oh. Actually, instead of opening the second one now, oh, 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 no, we won't. We'll open up some of these, because uh, I already see we've been doing this for quite a while. I ramble too much. Sometimes it's a hard balance between uh, how much to talk and how fast to go. Now, we'll get, uh, we'll do two of these. So these, as far as I can see, this is my first time looking at them, but as far as I can see, there's no kind of codes on here to give you a bit of a clue as to who's inside. Which is kind of good, which is kind of good. Sometimes, sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, I've had some collections or toy ranges where I'll have like, oh, Ready to Robot, here you go, this is a good example. I've got, I think there's about uh, 20 to collect, or 24 to collect, it doesn't say on the front here, well, not that I can see, 50, 50 plus to collect. And I just keep on getting the same six, <laughs> so so sometimes it does suck to not have a clue who's inside, but it's, it's the name of the game, I guess. Now, that's what makes them awesome when you do get good ones, is uh, kind of beating those odds. Okay, so I've just peeled that off. It gives us no kind of checklist on the outside. I ripped it a bit, but uh, no checklist on the outside. Maybe inside, so we'll open the garage. So there's a little lever here. Oh, okay, and here we go, a little checklist. Now we had one on the back of the box here, but let's just see if there's another one here. It's just good to check it all. And yes, here we go, another list of all 30 cars. It's exactly the same, which is good, okay. 
Now, who do we have? We got uh, it says SOS on the side. Hold on, let's get them out. Okay, now who is this? I'm going to use the box. It's a little bit bigger. Now he's not translucent at all, so we'll go over here to the common ones. Oh, it's the very first one, search and rescue. See that? There we go. <laughs> now that's awesome. Okay, I'm very happy with that. It's uh, the track's not really set up, but let's just do a quick test run. The more more of these I can do, the happier I'll be. <laughs> oh, he wiped out. Let's try it again. So I'm just winding it back. I'll lift my finger off. Whoa, okay. Maybe I gave him too much power because he was kind of like the front wheels were lifting off a little bit, making him jerk at the beginning. So we'll try a little less power. Aha, that's better. There's a bit of a fine art to getting them going fast and making them kind of crap out, which is what that guy did there. So uh, that makes it really good. It's to me that the kind of ideal way of having doing this is if you pull it back too far, then he just kind of like craps out and doesn't do anything. You pull him back just the right amount. Oh no, we'll pull him back just not, not enough and he won't make it over there. Whereas you pull it back just the right amount, it should, there we go, it should go uh, fast and without kind of crashing and, and going all weird. So there's a bit of skill to it, so uh, yeah. Gonna get just that sweet spot where it's not too fast, not too slow, and you'll be fine. But that's a, that's a good tip for when it comes time to racing. So uh, there's that guy there, and uh, it's really cool. Uh, this can't get over those nice rubbery wheels. Oh, what's it look like underneath? It says uh, China. It's got a little screw, so if something breaks, you can unscrew it and uh, fix it, which is good. I don't know if we check this guy out in detail, so let's just quickly do it again. And uh, now, let's get straight into opening up this next one. Okay. Is there a, a, a right way to do this? Oh, here we go. It's a little flap there. There we go. Nothing was broken that time. And we'll open the garage. Oh, <laughs> I did that wrong. Okay. Whoops. And this looks like the same guy again. We got two of the same guy. Unlucky. So we've got two SOS guys, which is cool, which is fine. And well, in that case, we'll open one more. And then we better call it quits. Ah, open. Now there's a perforated edge, which I'm kind of tearing along here. So that was uh, Search and Rescue, I think that's what his name was, the guy with the SOS. Now this time, there we are. It's a shame these don't come with a little bit of track, they, uh, which, which kind of would make sense because it would be too big if there was track in there. But um, it would be cool if you could like add some track every time too. Now there we go, and it's someone different. Let's check out who it is. It looks like a common guy maybe. Oh wait, no he's green, so he's going to be a rare glow in the dark guy. Okay, that's awesome. Now it looks like Road King. So yeah, that's definitely Road King. Now I'm gonna quickly, I don't actually know this guy's not, I, I'd love to test him to see how he looks in the dark, but uh, cause he's been in the uh, box all sealed up, he's not gonna glow yet. We could quickly test it. I'll uh, hold him against the light for a second and then see how well he glows. <laughs> okay, now that was a bit of a failed experiment cause he did not glow, well, he glowed, but uh, not enough for my camera to pick up on it. So uh, you obviously need more than one minute in the light to uh, make him glow. That's still awesome. So let's quickly go through who we've got. So first up from the stunt pack, we got uh, Neon, and I'm pretty sure Clearway was inside the garage there, like like the, the mystery guy. And then in the two mystery boxes, we got um, Road King. I almost forgot. And then two guys who are the same, which is Search and Rescue. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed that new new series of Micro Wheels. So a new kind of toy. They're gonna be cool to like collect up the guys. So there's gonna be lots of different packs which we can build different kind of tracks we're gonna race them in future videos but also we're gonna go through this big box of 30 to find the whole collection hopefully all 30 guys and uh, then we can go from there race them maybe do battles maybe do some kind of animated video who knows but guys I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did of course let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button subscribe if you haven't already subscribed and until next time guys have a great week take care of yourself and I will catch you next time